going to talk about the Peace Festival by the Mozamadisco Christo Church. And we've been joined by Reverend Justice M. Dati, who is the minister in charge of media at the Mozamadisco Christo Church, as well as Elijah Sankwa, who is the finance subcommittee member for the Peace Festival. Thanks for joining us, gentlemen. Thank you. Um, Thank let you me all. start with you, um, Reverend. Um, I know you have heard some of the comments about your church. Does it ever worry you? Well, uh, it doesn't. Mm. It doesn't, which is something that you can, you can expect from people who do not understand what you are doing and who, un uh, who doesn't understand. Now, with regard to the name, mm. the Muzama Disco Christo Church, people are interested in the disco in the there. The disco in there, yes. Yeah. It raises eyebrows yeah. every time it's yeah. mentioned. But you see, the whole name is not... It is neither English nor French. Mm. It is tongues. Right. Yeah. The and disco is tongues. Yeah. Muzama Disco Christo Oh, the Church. whole, the yeah. whole thing. Muzama Disco Christo. Mm. You see, and the meaning is the the army of the uh, the army of the cross of Christ. Mm. You see, the army of the cross of Christ. So mm. you know, this church was founded way back in 1920s. No, but uh, there's also yeah. that um, conception or the perception that it's because of that dance, the uh, very energetic dance that is uh, normally done in the church that we see we see sometimes on TV. Yeah, yeah. Don't you think that's why people, you know, it, it sounds really funny because of the disco in there and all the dancing, the energetic dancing. You, you don't think it has anything to do with that? No, it hasn't because, you see, before the church came, the traditionally we had very strong uh, uh, energetic dancing mm. around. I mean, we are Africans, and most of the African dancers are very uh, stressful and uh, energetic, but they were not being referred to as disco, mm. Mm. you see. So it is about the name disco, that is, uh, it is a word disco, right. which, is, which has nothing to do with the discotheque or, mm. Uh -huh, mm. because it is purely tongue. Yeah. Right. Rev, I'll come back to you, but let me yeah. speak with Elijah. Um, Elijah, um, Rev did mention that it's probably because most people don't know what the church stands for and what it does, and that's why people make some of these comments. Can you tell oh. us what the church does and why people should not be making such comments about the church? Thank you. Um, I wish to say a very big malamito to all Muzamans. And malamito is a morning greeting. Mm. It means, may joy be unto you. Right. And then you also respond by saying, may yao daso. May yao daso. And that is, God bless you. Mm. And so to all Muzamans, we are preparing for a peace festival. And so, but coming back to the name, um, what happens is that Reverend has spoken a lot. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to just top it up by saying that, first of all, the word discotheque, by the time we had our disco in the name in 1922, mm. at that time, etymologically, when you look at discotheque, we have two sources. That is the origin of the names, the French origin and the Latin origin. The Latin origin dates back to 1927 when we had already had ours. Right. And then the French origin, which started with Nazi occupation of the French in the 1940s. And then it became a word in English by 1954. Mm. It was nativized in 1964. When you nativize a word, a nativize a word, it means that it is now acceptable to be used in a particular language. Right. And you don't have to put them into quotation marks or inverted commas when you are writing it in a language. So looking at the evolution of the word itself, it has no link with the name as is found in our disco. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so basically, but from the beginning of the church, actually God asked us, told our forebears to choose a name for ourselves. And they told God through the Holy Spirit to give them a name. The message that came was that the name I'm going to give you, the world may not understand it. And at a point in time, you may become a laughing stock to the world. And the Bible tells us that do not conform to the dictates of the world. And so I want to urge all Muzamans as well as other people who are interested in the cause of Muzama that the disco in our name has nothing to do with discotheque which came in the 50s, in the 60s, and it became popular in Ghana in the 70s. Right. We had our name back in 1922. Mm. So it has absolutely no connection with the disco of the world. We belong to Christ. And the Bible tells us that we should not conform to the dictates of the world. Thank you very so much. So the world should keep their disco 
and Mozama Disco you, you Christo keep Church. Yours as well. Yes. Let's move straight to the Peace Festival, Reverend. Tell us about it. What is it about? Well, the Peace Festival is about celebrating God's goodness and His faithfulness mm. to the members of the church and to the world at large. Uh, it came about when the church started. At that time, people did not understand the Muzama Church very well. Because, with the, uh, you see, when Christianity was brought to us, mm -hmm. our forefathers knew God already. And they were worshipping God in their own culture, in our own culture, for that matter. Now, when Christianity was introduced to us, it came with Western culture. And therefore, uh, people did not understand when Muzama Church was founded and uh, we were using our culture to worship God. We are worshiping God in our own culture. Mm. But people, because of their misunderstanding, they were not giving our forebearers the peace that they needed to worship God. And, and they were being taunted and being harassed here and there. So they went before God and God gave them a prophecy mm -hmm. that uh, a child is going to be born to the wife of the founder, right. I, mean, I mean to the founders. And that child will be born on 24th August in 1924, mm. Sunday, 12 o'clock. And that when that child is born, they should know that peace, God has now given his people peace, and they will worship him in peace. Right. And true to the word of God, that child was born. Normally when a, a woman is given birth, it is done in enclosures. Mm. It is not in public. But this one was done in public with some clothes uh, uh, hedged around mm -hmm. her. Mm -hmm. And exactly 12 o'clock, that child was born. And by that, the, the, the members at that time went out openly with songs and dancing. And nobody ever asked them to stop what they're doing or what. And, and then that actually gave them the, 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 the confidence that indeed God has fulfilled the promises that he gave them. Right. And hence came the, the name Asumjee okay. Afi. Right, right. Uh, but um, Elijah, take us through uh, some of the activities going to happen and when it is happening and who can join um, for the Peace Festival. All right, thank you very much um, for the opportunity. First of all, um, it starts today. Mm. In the evening, there will be opening ceremony. And then the official opening ceremony is tomorrow. That is um, 24th of August, right. this particular year. The theme for the celebration is praise the Lord for his goodness. The church is hitting 100 years. And so there is so much that the Lord has done for us. Mm. We need to celebrate. We need to elevate his name. So the theme for the Peace Festival is praise the Lord and then for his goodness. So we say praise the Lord and the members will respond for his goodness. Right, right. So tomorrow there will be the what we refer to as the general review. Mm -hmm. And then afterwards, church activities in the evening. Mm. And then there is also Saturday, there is what is called, we refer to as Piodama. Okay. That is um, a Deborah of chiefs. Mm. In our church, every circuit elder, every elder, the head of the lady at the circuit is considered as a chief. And so they will meet with the leadership, the general head prophet, whom we refer to as Akaboha. Now we have Akaboha the fourth. He is the general head prophet of Mozama Disco Christo Church worldwide. So tomorrow there will be Piodama, that mm. is Deborah of chiefs. Mm. And this chieftaincy issue is not the chieftaincy of the world. It's a novelty. It's a matter of um, just accepting yourself as a chief in Christ. Right. All right. And so it's not about some a chief who has a black stool mm. as is done in the world. Right. So that is how so all the circuit elders and the district elders will put on their traditional regalia and then we'll meet at the Jubilee Temple, which is our biggest temple at Mozano. Mm. And then we meet the leadership of the church Akaboha and his entourage. Then they will find out from them what the issues are at the viral branches right, of the church. Right, so that's also right. tomorrow. And right. then we also have the divine healing, okay. which is um, a week today at mm. Mozano. Okay. And I want to um, urge... Oh, oh, yeah, okay, we're well. wrapping up, Rev. So um, just tell us who, are, who and who are invited and what they should expect when they come. So uh, we wrap up. Well, all okay. members 
and then the general public mm. are invited. Uh, I want to add, you see, we worship God in our own culture. Okay. And therefore, tomorrow, the people, every, every group of people mm. will dress in their own culture. So you see a variety of cultures, cultures. Yeah, yeah, around. And one thing that runs through that, you find out that the dancing and the drumming and the singing, you see one thing running through. The, the rhythm is almost the same mm. all along. So you see the Evers doing the Agbajan, all these things. Right, so now, it's going to be exciting. To yeah, mm. yeah, and then uh, there's also going to be, as you said, healing. And when you come, every morning and evening is the word of God. Mm. We study the word, we preach the word of God. And then there are all also various uh, activities by the various bands and societies. So tomorrow yeah. it's going to be exciting. Exciting. It's, it's, it's going exciting. to be, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, be it's uh, beginning uh, today. Sure we'll today. So yes, everybody is invited. That's according to Reverend Justice M. Dati. And he's the minister in charge of media at the Mozama Disco Crystal Church. Also, Elijah Sakwa is a finance subcommittee member for the Peace Festival. And they're entreating everybody to be there. Just come and get your healing. No matter what, what cultural background that you have. 